Hello everybody and welcome in a new tutorial. Today we're going to take a look on how to uh, design this kind of architectural ornamental uh, designs. So uh, I've chosen three tips. Actually there are many tips or many ways to do these kind of designs. And by the way you can find this uh, this blender file in the link in the description. It's for free. You can use it in your uh, your designs or your scenes so the models are for free if you want a tip it would be really appreciated and you will find also in the description the link for the last uh, tutorials file source so you can download download it and have fun with it so let's start the first tip is using ornamental fonts this uh, this approach is actually very simple and easy. You can add in a text and go to the font tab and browse to your uh, ornamental font. I've actually uploaded many and uh, sometimes you may have some problems with some of the fonts. Like in my case here in the first time when I typed into my keyboard nothing showed up. So. I changed the uh, the font to another one, as you can see here. So you can tap anything into your keyboard, and after that you can go to the geom geometry tab and mess around with the uh, the settings. You can bump up the uh, the depth of the bevel or extrude it up. And you can have uh, fun with it. You have to be careful about the settings, uh, especially the depth of the bevel. So here you have it. You can actually find these kind of ornamental fonts in the in many websites. I've chosen this one. It's called One Thousand One uh, Fonts. You can browse through the free for commercial use fonts and use them. And here is one of my models where I've used ornamental fonts. It's pretty easy. You can just shrink wrap them or apply them on your model and you will have very good results. The second tip is displacement maps. You can find them in websites like te texture.com. It's pretty good websites too. You can uh, browse through many kinds of ornamental uh, designs. It actually provides, uh, I think, 15 credits for free per day. But I don't know actually if it's free for commercial use. You can search for that. I've chosen this uh, design. As you can see here, free. For, it's for free. You can go ahead and download it. And let's get back into Blender. So to apply these maps, you have to add in a plane, uh, subdivide it, I've, sub I've subdivided it 100 times. The more you subdivide it, the, the better for the geometry. You have to add also, you can add also subdivision uh, surface modifier to subdivide it more and have more geometry to work with. And after that, we add a displace, uh, displace modifier, add a new texture here. Browse into the textures tab and open open up your uh, your displacement map displacement map that you have just downloaded. As you can see here, the first result is not very satisfying. So we go back into the modifier tab and mess around with the strength uh, values till you have your desired amount of uh, displacement. So. Yeah, that's it. And after that, what you have to do is to separate the plane from the uh, from from the ornamental design. And the way to do it is to select some faces on the plane and click on Shift G and select similar, select coplanar, and try to bring down the threshold. I selected 0 0.01, so 
So as you can see here, the plane is selected and you can delete the, uh, the faces. And here you have it. You can use it wherever you want. And, and it's pretty good. Let's take a look at the last uh, way to do it, which is go ahead and model it. So I will go, I will go through the way and how I did some of these, some of these uh, ornaments. First, this Greek architectural ornament. So I'll go ahead and hide these. I will add in uh, a curve, busy curve. Tab in into edit mode and delete all the vertices and go here on the in this tab click on draw and this what will uh, it makes you do is when you draw anything it will uh, it will construct vertices for a curve this is actually not the uh, best way to do it but for the sake of demonstration I really like this tool and I wanted to show you guys uh, its functionality you can you can also use uh, extra curves there is a special spiral uh, spiral curve in that add-on you can go ahead and use it so for uh, for this approach you can also uh, try to tweak the vertices to have till you have a good shape to work with and the next thing you're going to do is go to the curve tab and browse into the bevel adjust the depth till you have your desired amount of depth what you can do also is uh, try to adjust more your handles till you have a good uh, good overall shape that you are uh, satisfied with and if you have if you want to have more control of the bevel depth you can add in another circle curve circle and try to mess up mess around a bit with the vertices you can click on V and make them vectors to make them more sharp and after that you can select your first curve and go to the drop uh, icon and select your new your new curve you can mess around with it scale it down do whatever wherever you want with it always a modeling tip we will take a look on how to do <coughs> this uh, greek pillar greek pillar sorry so what we're gonna do is uh building it starting from a cylinder add cylinder and yeah add cylinder and scale it on the z-axis to have a taller uh, shape for our design next what we should do is uh, add in a modifier uh, subdivision surface modifier to make it more smooth add add in some support edge loops to have uh, a good shape if you're worried about these artifacts you can insert the top and the bottom uh, faces you can insert them in and uh, after that what you will do is to select the side uh, faces and go to the select tab and choose uh, checker deselect this will allow you to select every other face you can extrude them there extrude them in and uh, you can also go back to edit mode and add all the uh, support edge loops to have uh, a better shape uh, yeah so that's what you can do for this model the next model we're gonna see is the uh, is the uh, the other pillar the way to do it is this uh, to add in a cylinder select uh, or set the edges to six select them and bevel them using control B and after that, you will have to uh, delete the upper face and add in a uh, screw modifier. This modifier is uh, very useful. It will allow you to create very interesting shapes. 
and to do that you have to increase the screw amount and set it a bit up and what you can do also is add in subdivision modifier to have more smooth shape this will allow you to have good overall uh, design you can mess around also with this shape and add in more details I focused here on just the basic uh, stuff so yeah that's it for this video I hope that you have enjoyed it as I've said before you can find these uh, models in the link in the description and the file for the other uh, tutorial too so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one